To be able to solve this problem, we're going to need to use both the property of the radius of a circle and the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so notice we have in here a right triangle, and we actually know the length of two of the sides. Even though the length of this hypotenuse is not stated, we can easily find it because we know that the diameter is 22.4, so this hypotenuse is just the radius, which is 11.2. It's half of the diameter. So if this is our C and this is our B, then we need to find A using the Pythagorean theorem. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A, we don't know. B is 8.8 .8, and C is 11.2. Okay, so let's pull out the calculator for this one. 8.8 .8 squared, 77.4, and 11.2 squared, 125.44. So a squared plus 77.44 equals 125.44. So we need to solve for a squared, so I just subtract 77.44 from both sides. Oops, excuse me. So a squared is equal to 48. So I just need to take the square root of 48 to find a. Six point nine two eight, but we want to round to the nearest tenth, so it's just going to be six point nine. Okay, so this is six point nine. Well we still haven't found what we needed. We need to find this x, but I do know that this entire arc here is equal to the radius, which we found was eleven point two. So I know if I do x plus six point nine, I should get eleven point two. So all I need to do is subtract 6.9 from both sides. Excuse me, this should be approximately, because we already rounded. So x is approximately equal to 4.3.